Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're making cream cheese berry danishes. These look and taste impressive but are ridiculously easy and that lemon glaze makes them completely irresistible. We'll start by making the filling. In a large mixing bowl, combine eight ounces of softened cream cheese with one fourth cup sugar, one egg yolk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of fresh lemon zest. Beat those together for a few minutes on medium high speed or until whipped, creamy, and smooth. Now on a clean work surface, unfold your first sheet of puff pastry dough and roll it into a 10 by 10 inch square. Cut the dough into 12 even strips and I find it's easiest to do this using a pizza cutter. Take two strips of dough and pinch them together at one end, pinching tightly to seal. Now twist the strand moving from one end to the other. Make sure you aren't twisting too tightly, it should just look like a loose ribbon. Press one end of your ribbon onto your work surface and loop the twisted strand from the center working outward, then pinch the end to attach it to the pastry. Flatten the center with your fingers to create a little well for the filling. Poke the center with a fork to keep it from puffing up too much in the middle, then add a tablespoon of that cream cheese filling. Add your fresh berries, pushing them halfway into the filling. It's a great time to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. As you finish your pastries, transfer them to a parchment lined baking sheet. Now on to the egg wash. In a small bowl, combine one egg with one tablespoon of water and use a fork to beat those together thoroughly. Brush the outside of the pastries generously with that egg wash, then bake in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes or until puffed and golden brown at the edges. Once they're out of the oven, you want to let them cool completely to room temperature so the cream cheese filling will set. While you're waiting, make the lemon glaze. Combine one half cup of powdered sugar with a half a teaspoon of lemon zest and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. You can add more lemon juice if you like it thinner or more powdered sugar to thicken it up. Once the pastries are at room temperature, drizzle them generously with all of that amazing lemon glaze. It is a good moment because we're gonna do the taste test. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. And the important thing is to pick the one with the most glaze because that glaze just takes these over the top. So good. <laughs> All right, this one looks promising. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. You guys have to look inside. I can't even believe strawberries can be this juicy. <laughs> if you've ever tried strawberries baked into a dessert, wow. That fruit gives it this beautiful, fresh pop of flavor. And then that lemon glaze really balances the sweetness. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna eat like five of these before the kids come into the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, wow. And then that flaky, buttery, soft crust. Oh, <laughs> make these and they will disappear fast. So eat as many as possible right away. You guys will find the print friendly recipe below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Hey, before you go, if you like this, make sure to check out some of our most popular berry desserts right over here and Click below to subscribe and when you do, make sure to click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you later.